Peter? Small intermission, you see me? So we just have to go back in right away. This is um, 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 18. It says, and, and it said, Behold, he has come, that I will bring, begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth, and will begin to make a provision of them what they um, be that have heard injustice with their unrighteous righteousness. And so, when so that have to do with two third of our people and the Edomites and all them other nations. You see me? Because what? This judgment now commits two third of our people. You see me? What? You see? And when the affliction of sin shall be fulfilled, and when the world that shall begin to vanish away so shall be finished. Of, when the affliction of Zion. So that shows you uh, Zion got through some trouble. So why some camp crew saying, we are going to miss Jacob trouble. So that, that according to the scripture, they're after me. Go on. And we'll begin to make, I'm oh, sorry, I'm very sorry, 20. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens, the books shall be opened before the permanent. So right now, the books don't move before the permanent right now. You now see that, man. Because them have them satellites all over. Oh, when we read this, I'm upload the video and to the world wide web everybody get it. everybody are getting it nobody knows because the scripture say oh um we what that beggar 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 um matthew 24 and um, 14 and just said this word shall be preached don't drop that on you have a around 14 15 Matthew 24 verse 14 and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come so this word shall be preached unto all the world man. Say, you are going to have somebody who can say they never hear it Let's find out. Beggar Romans 10, verse 16. Romans 10, and verse. Um, Are they not there? What I say then, I'm being a third year. Verse 18. What? Uh, verse 18, but I, but I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their soul went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. They not got nobody can say or they never hear this word. So go back to where it said the books are open for the firm and broke up. They have this one. The books are open for the firm. Um, Second Ezra 6 verse 20. And when the world that, put, that it shall begin to finish away and be finished, then will I show these tokens, the book shall be opened before the permanent. So that means that the world has to vanish away. Then, yeah. Read that again, because I come like, you know, and I hear it. It's and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these token, tokens, the but, book. But that's why Solomon said everything is vanity. Yep. All is vanity. Because he said the world is going to be vanished away. I'm going to show these tokens. What? Right? That's why um, he didn't say what? And all the works, he said, in the earring shall be burnt up. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I will show these tokens. The book shall be opened before the permanent. And they shall see all together. And the children of a year old shall speak. With their voices, when you call them, when you call them premature births, what? the woman with children shall bring forth and time the children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. And suddenly shall the sown places appear, and soon the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So that's going to affect all over me. Isn't it going to affect the farming industry? 
of a farm industry get um, knocked, the so-called stores are uh, get knocked. What? Nothing is going to come off of semen. Because the import, every, almost everything will have an import. You see me? Thank you. Um, and if they want to bring it to like the farmers, then we can tell you, majority of the farmers, them, for example, um, in Bread Basket Country Center, um, Bread Basket um, uh, Territory, uh, St. Elizabeth, majority of them are um, uh, imported seeds, them have you. You see me? You see, verse 30, 23, and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that shall dwell therein. Stop it. Second this is 2nd Ezra 15 verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord. So obviously, we're not going to come out here with our words. You see me, because most of me can't talk to myself. Not the brightest. You see me? But when it comes to these scriptures, you see me, it's our life. You see me, we know the scripture better than we know ourselves. You see me? We'll go on again. Skipping down to verse 14 in um, 2nd Ezra 15. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Meaning destruction to the world and them that dwell therein, talking about the inhabitants. You see me? What? I see the woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Yeah, you right. see, because the devil <laughs> is coming down right, with great wrath, right, knowing that you have got a short time. Verse 15, because um, Albert Pike said he might bring a time up on the earth. Is the more people believe in a God, now I go believe in a God no more. And them who don't believe in a God, I go believe in a God. Yeah. Is it because them are the hand of the Mosai, and the Mosai use them to basically bring wrath upon the face of the earth. And to blind the people. Hey, that's why, that's why in the book I think of Wisdom of Solomon 5, it says, oh, them go wonder and say, what? And them are people there? Yeah? I go up. Is it? Verse 15, for the sword and their destruction dry nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. So you're talking about what? The race war we are just here, brother. Read out. You see me? Because we are going to have race war and we are going to have class war. You see me? So the race war can start from any hour, man. But it's going to be a what? A crisis. A major crisis that's going to happen on the earth. Either it's going to come by economical collapse or any which way you are about to shall choose to bring it upon the earth, man. You see me? Go on. You see? And swords in their hands, so for there shall be sedition among men. And in it says sedition. And when you go to that word sedition, you go back to the, in the Greek word, okay? this stasia, meaning um, dissension or division. You see me? And it's a compound word. And if you break down that word, when you break it down, this, they get twice bringing in the division. And the sta stasis is talking about insurrection or strife. So you have insurrection and strife. And when you look up that word insurrection, it's uproar, uprising against the government. You know, you know, regard your government nor nothing that is power, authority overall. What? It's a part. There shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Meaning authority, anything in any authority, position on the, the so-called presidents and the prime ministers. It's in the island of government official all the pastors in a church. When you look to as the people them as the so-called oracle, you see me not have no answer in them days and you not regard them, man. What? So I call them people are trusting them government so so wholeheartedly, man. That's what? why them do all kind of parade and attack about show our power. Yeah. Gone. Gone, man. You see, and the, the course of their action, actions shall stand in their power. That means that anything their mind perceive. That they're not going to do, man. If they come in, if they decide, if they're hungry, and they decide to come in your house, spoil your house, rape your wife, rape your daughter, and then put you to death. And if they feel like, they might cook you too. You see me? It depends how hungry they're in at that day. You see? What? And they might serve to put hungry in them. Depends. <laughs> Verse 17. A man shall decide to go into a city and shall not be able. Why am I going to desire to go into a city and cannot go? Because what? after crisis, you need a crisis management, which I'm going to be the military army. You see me, the troops on the ground. You see me, because in you know you know the devil um, devices, they have a device that they call ideological subversion. It comes in a four categories. 
You see me? Demoralization, destabilization, crisis, and normalization. Man. And right now, we're not the time for going to crisis, man. That's why you see how black out the army right now over Venezuela. You see me? Because the crime crisis that are loom over them head, and they not even know, man. You see me? So, them people are going to go into a city and can't be able to go after the race war and all of them things. They're going to implement the, the martial law troops on the ground. People are going to get um, gathered into concentration camp where they're going to be forced to receive the RFID microchip. You see me? So, them things are about to come up on the earth, man. Go on, huh? So, for because of your pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So it seems to say, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Jump to um, 2nd Ezra 8 and 15. Go back to them. 2nd Ezra 8 and verse 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So you know, you know what some of the misery they have happened to the people that had them last days of the peace. Talk loud, yeah, yeah. Peace, I use them as a human being. Get me that one. You said four kind over them. Talk to tear. So we say again, what else? Peace, evil spirit. Come in. This is the moon. Go on. This is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 2. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as are for, the, for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, as such as are for the captivity to the captivity, and I will appoint over them for kind, said the Lord, the, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. All right, so you see, them that the beggar back, that's not yet again. Read that again, and jump back. Um, Second Ezra 8 verse 50, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So, we are go back to where the martial law troops are going to do. Go back to great pride. Um, it's said, uh, Second Ezra 15 and 18, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, I'm sure say your famine is going to the land. You see me? And famine is going to be one of the major causes of uproar, man. You see me? Anytime you know, the monetary system removed from you, know, and as the brother them love say, Jay can't get to buy no calm bread, no chicken. <laughs> This means war. May I tell you the place I got turn over in them times, man. Jumbo back. Jumbo back to waiting there. Beg your way up. Second Ezra chapter 6. Verse 22. And suddenly the sown places appear unsown. The Carry it again, and the spirit that bring it out. The spirit that bring it out, man. The four store houses shall suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth. See, so you know, so in a prayer, you can't say the famine itself cause mass um, some sedition amongst men, you know. You see me? Guy, what? After they do the full stone houses, them get empty. What? People start break out and I look food, man. People are going broke and I loot and I do every one of these things, man. So, you see me? Drop that big about this one. Second Ezra. Um, Second Ezra 15 verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So watch out. Remember the scripture says a man shall be able not be able to go into a city. And we are telling you that the martial law troops. You see me? Look how graphic 
martial uh, troops have uh, ever been depicted within the scriptures? Beggar 16 and 17. 17. 17. Alright. 2nd um, Ezra 16 verse 17. For there shall be in every place and in the next ages a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So who do you think will come with that insurrection? Yeah, but who, who are going to be the force we are going to bring? The martial law troops. You see me go on? They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So I'll show you when them boys are coming on the house. You see me? Them boys are coming on the house and Esau are, are the vilest creature on the earth, man. Right. The base of man. So you see anything that creature there? I'm in my mind for doing two no? <laughs> yeah, so, yo, you are bossing me, you better pray, you are bossing me, you shall have a covering over here at these times. You see me? Read up. They, um, verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Right. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. God, what? Enough things are going to I hear one time as the elder Gabba always said, man, I'm going to visualize the scriptures. When them boys come in the house and throw out an house, yo, they're going to put some to death and bring some. Gawa, concentration camp. Can't be re educated. Re educated, which is brainwashing. You see me? And anybody now that the re educated, they're going to get put to death. You see me? But you're going to have the elect amongst them where I'm going to death for a testimony. I'm going to have a beggar that in a mom. Revelation. So Revelation 20 verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped peace, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with our shire a thousand years. Alright, but the point is, the scripture tells us, you see the head of them that were bearded for the witness of the our shire. We can't. We're stuck in the servants of the Lord, them who are stand stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. We can't. You see me? So beg back, go back and I see him, second Ezra. Then he shall leave you, you know. Second Ezra 16 and verse um, 73. Then shall they be known. Who are my chosen? Alright, what are some of the things them? That's why you have a no say you are the Lord chosen. First thing, the prophecies them where we are speaking, them start come to pass. And we are prophesying and telling about the martial law troops, them, the famine, all of them things that come to pass. But the main thing you have to see for sure say you are we are the servant of the Lord, in them days we are going to rejoice. The scripture tells us that we are going to cut off and give that in Isaiah 55, 65. So these are gonna be the signs you are gonna know how we are the chosen. You are bashing your shall will. We are amongst that elect, that elect number, the hopeful elect. Man. You see? Isaiah 65 verse 30. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry. So in them times they are gonna have people that eat them one another. You see me? Farming the panel land, and we are gonna Y'all bossing me on shy will, now I start push that way amongst the leg. We are gonna eat food, man. We are gonna comfortable in them times, man. You see me? Go on. And um, even the one them, as well, the scripture says in Revelation, I'm gonna be, 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 be beheaded for the witness of Y'all Shai. They are gonna rejoice, man, because they must suffer the same persecution for the prophets them face and where Y'all Shai face. Because in the evening and face of death, Y'all Shai never um, basically forsake the Heavenly Father. You see, he never deny him. The scripture tells us, say, yo, um, he that don't deny me, he's not going to deny when he's in the presence of the Lord. So at the end of the day, we're going to stand stiffly, as the scripture says. So therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, oh, behold, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but he shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but he shall be ashamed. So just imagine the type of spirit you have there now. You see, utter chaos, people are dead all over the place. And you still are rejoice. That yeah, shows yeah. that every piece of spirit that man, you go on. Verse 14. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you, yo. 
Uh, singing take place. People are dead, people are getting devoured by beasts, and we still are relaxed. You see me still chilling? Understand? We trend it. Hey, no, 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 hey. we trend it. We are so we are so easy. We are so easy. Right in front time, fierce man. You see? It? You see me say yo. Let me move them up quick. Are we going to now? No. We have styles, you know. Yo, people are really understand. I'm a tough one. But the thing, who are the Lord's servants, man? Big, big, big. Revelation three and ten. This is Revelation chapter three, verse ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. What? The scripture says, what we do? We keep the word of impatience, man, which is the testament. But they are giving testimony in our We keep the word of impatience. That's why we serve and serve and eat, man. That, 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 that could be the difference between the Lord's servant and this and everybody else upon the earth. Talking in the two thirds, everybody has deliverance now. Deliverance is not for everybody, it's just for the nation of Israel. You see me? As, as the scripture says, all Israel shall be saved, but and this go around is just the first fruit, which is the elect. You see? This is um, Revelation 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, mm -hmm. and of thy brethren, that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Alright, hold on. Bigger, um, Revelation 12, when said they overcome. Yeah. Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the dead. So that, that's the difference between the, the, the elect, the chosen of your boss and your shine, everybody else. You see me, they regard this world, and none of the philosophies of this world, man. Their desire and their hope is to be in the kingdom with our Lord, your shine. That's right. Big um, Revelation 2 and 10. You have it now? Revelation 1. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So when you say it's your cast man into prison, them concentration camp there a prison them. If you don't know, you see? So it's that the devil shall cast them out into the devil, and then shall be tried. We're not going to get tried with the tech one, the RFID, the microchip. But the reason why we are we here to do what? We are testimony. You see? Uh, in them, in them uh, concentration camp, they have the guillotine, that's what they call, right? Guillotine, and if you know anything about the guillotine, that I believe you're headless. You see me? That's why John could have said to the soul of them that died for the witness of Yahweh Shai. You see me? Read that again now. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Meaning a period of time. What? Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So yo, the scripture said, be faithful unto death. And just when the revelation, it tells us that John see the head of them that were beheaded. So we are going to see what happened to these men who did the work unto the end, who fight a good fight of faith, who stand so stiffly for the Lord. Bigger than the arm, second is us two, start that wrong part. This is Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 40. Take thy number, O Sion, and, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Wait, what does that mean? The number of thy children who don't have long... Read that again. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Bill. Revelation 7. Revelation 7 verse 1. 
And after these things I saw poor angels standing on the poor corners of the earth, holding the poor winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the poor angels to whom it was given to earth, the earth and the sea, saying, Earth not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So what? Till we have sealed the servant of the Lord in their forehead. So read back that way, just read up. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 41. And the number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. That means the well and You let get sealed, man. You see me? If you don't know, now you know. And that we are we are wait for. You see me? Hoping. I say like L R S in belief. You see me? So the elect seal. So you are just that you are winning at the time, man. Eh? And we at the time now if you are rejoice of all of the destruction we are going at. Go on. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hallowed. So the scripture says, who was called from the beginning. You know the priest that was about what you just did? Beg it, Pa. This is um, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse um, 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Read that again. Ephesians 1 verse 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined. Being predestined. You see me? That means that the Lord chose you before him even laid the foundation of the earth, man. Yeah, we can see that in verse 4. He said, um, Ephesians 1 verse 4, According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahushua Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So before we ever come upon the earth, the Lord have already predestined us to come as our fault. Stop it chatting. No. Jeremiah 1. Before I was in the womb. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So I went to life. That, that's how in the spirit in the heavens. You see me? What? And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee. And that word sanctify means to make separate. They so made us separate from everybody else and do an ordain as well. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Jump down in there tell us them and set your root out and did this run nine and root out. Yeah man say plant a river. Verse ten. Verse nine. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms. So that will show you. So right now, as I see us when I was seeing perform as we we set over all these nations. It's in because we are we are ambassador. We are how about him? We are shy. Go on. Do we not that the sin shall judge the world? Okay. Go on. To root out. Go on. And to pull down, and to destroy, and to throw down, to build, and to plant. That is what the job of a prophet is. This is me beg you back where they are read that. Yeah, go back. <laughs> Uh, Revelation 14 verse 1 And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion and with him an hundred 
authority and for those having his father's name written in their foreheads. Predestined men. What? And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with the harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the poor beasts and the elders. And no man could learn the song but the hundred and forty and four thousand. So watch out. There's a no man that can understand meaning these breakdowns of the scripture, only the hundred and forty four thousand. So people are going to ask, so the, 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 the multitude are going to get saved. We call them to do what? Believe upon the words of who? The prophets them. You see me? Because the, the prophets them now speak the own words, they must speak the words of the Lord. You see me? We can get a prayer for you when you're out trying to say a prayer for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, um, this is St. John 17 and um, verse 20. Neither pray I um, for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me who hear word. St. John chapter 17, verse 20. Neither pray I for these alone. But for them also, we shall believe and live to be a word. Then I think that, that them are going to be what? That, that numerous multitude. But it's great on the understanding of the scriptures. This is only for the servants of the Lord when we receive it. Say, um, the Lord doeth nothing and I'll get it. But reveal it in secret to the servant, the prophets. You see me? So just the prophets, them, are going to get this great on and this understanding. And the masses who are going to get delivered are going to believe by the words where the prophets speak, which is the words of the Lord. Back to, really Back to Revelation 14 and verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and, elder, and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. And that song, you know what was that song? It's the testimony, testimony of Yahweh Shai, you see me? Which is the word. What? Verse 4. These are they which were not the fight with women, for they are virgins. These are they which followed the Lamb wheresoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. So the scripture said, these were they that were not defiled with women. They were virgins. So that means that ah, uh, that means some can't no matter then some do then it feels when you talk about woman right there, you're talking about all the philosophies of the world, man. You see me? Simply put. So yo, the elect not go off and one of them being philosophers of the world, talking the Christianity, Muslim, Rastafarian, Catholic, Sunday worship, all of these so-called philosophies of the world, man. You see me? All of them madness social media sites. You see me? We're not gonna go for them things. You know? We're not gonna be defiled with all of these things. Um, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, Second Corinthians, limb verse two. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I expose you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin. As a who? As a chaste virgin. The our shy. That means that. Uh, we know if we are going for none of the philosophies that when they push up, we know if we give heed unto people. Verse 5, back in um, um, Revelation 14, verse 5. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. That means that all the things they are going to speak is according to the scripture. Say. It says, oh, if a man speak, let him speak as an oracle of the Lord. Man. So all the things them man are going to come forth, I going to tell you, the judgment of the Lord according to the scriptures, whether they like it or not. You see me? No could not say, oh, man, them cannot just like bitches. You see me? So we have a lot of things where I got a chance for you on the earth, where just the prophets them, how can what? Reveal it, I get what? Delivered unto them. Finish it, yeah? No, I... Yeah, the predestined, finish it. In the other second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start to back at the top. No, man. The, se the second Ezra chapter 2 verse 42 I Ezra 
saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. So, how oh, would that? See a man in the where the brother just read about in Revelation 7, man. Isn't it? Go on. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, which is Yahweh Shai, taller than all the rest. 